Hello and welcome to the video. So today's going to be a little bit more off the cuff. I've been having some high latency issues with uh, my internet and wanted to uh, be able to get a little bit more information, a little bit more data. Data is incredibly helpful when you're trying to troubleshoot and, uh, and fix these types of things. So I threw together a few scripts that are going to help me monitor uh, ping latency over time, throw some dates behind it, get some information about when I'm seeing you know high latency and when I'm seeing drops, um, and uh, you know then be able to to take that data and extract it as necessary to find out when things are slowing down. So the techs were out this morning. Hopefully things are fixed, so I may not have high pings to show you, but I'm going to run through some of the scripts and uh, and what I put together to get this data. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to create a ping monitor.sh and we're going to start that with bin slash bash and uh, I'm just going to do a so let's just kind of start with conceptually what we're doing here. So we're going to ping Google's DNS server, 8.8.8.8. And then we are going to wrap um, some dates around it. And we are going to echo that out to a ping.log. We're then going to take ping.log and we are going to uh, process it and be able to pull out all of what I'm considering high pings, um, as well as anything, uh, we'll be able to get a count of them. So those are the two things that we're going to grab. So we're going to do a uh, while read line do echo dollar line and then we're going to do dollar date because I want uh, to capture the date and then into ping.log. Uh, the double arrows are important if you have a single arrow, it's going to overwrite the log file every time. And then done. And we're going to say ping 8.8.8.8. .8 okay, and then save that. Um, we are going to chmod plus exit. And then let's go ahead and run ping monitor.sh. And what that should start to do is it should start generating a ping.log file. All right, so we're, we're getting some data. If I do a tail-f, that's going to give us a continuous stream of our pings. So cool, we have our data in a file where we can start to work with it and, uh, and do other things. So the next thing I want to do is get slow pings. So let's just kind of uh, kind of build out the command that we're going to need to run, and then we'll turn it into a script. So I'm going to cat ping.log, and we are going to pipe it into awk. So the two things that I really want here are I want this field that shows the time. Um, I kind of want milliseconds just for display purposes, and then I want uh, the date information. So we're going to be printing out columns. So if we count from the left, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is the first column we want. Um, and then we probably want seven, eight, we can skip nine, I don't need to know that it's Sunday. So seven, eight, 10, 11, 12. So what we're going to do is we're going to say awk and print $7 dollar eight dollar ten dollar eleven and dollar twelve close it out with a curly brace and we now have time equals um, 16.5 milliseconds for instance here April 20th 100223 100224 100225 we have a, a stream of data now um, let's go ahead for cleanliness and we're going to throw in another pipe and do a sed s um, and get rid of that time equals. So sed is a stream editor, I believe. And what that is going to do, let us do is a string replace. So we're going to replace string time equals with a string blank. 
um, which effectively cuts it out of the output. So now we just have our pings and our dates, which is most of the display I want. And then specifically, I want slow pings. So I'm going to use awk and do dollar zero, which is the first. Um, so I'm, I'm basically looking for uh, when this ping value is over a certain limit. So I'm gonna say awk dollar zero greater than 20. Um, and 20 isn't what I was monitoring for for the problem, but it seems like the problem's maybe gone away. Um, so this is what I'm gonna to use to show you what's going, how to, to get some output. So I think that's what I want. This is gonna be my high ping script. So I'm saying cat ping.log um, and then you know print these columns, remove time and give me anything with a ping value over 20. So we're going to go ahead and create a get slow pings.sh. And as usual, we're gonna start it with bin bash and just print that. And then instead of ping.log, we are going to cat dollar one. And dollar one is going to be the first parameter passed in. So what that lets us do is do, here we've got a chmod plus x, this script. So that's going to let us do git slow pings.sh and feed in a ping.log. Um, and the reason that matters instead of just hard coding it is as I was troubleshooting this, you know, I was generating multiple ping.logs for different time periods and I wanted to be able to, you know, just feed in the ping.log that I wanted to analyze. Um, so we can see here that we have you know, about 10 pings that fall into our 20 plus millisecond category. But what if we wanted to count them? Um, well, let's go ahead and we're going to build on that command that we had a minute ago. So if we just want the count, we don't need um, any of these. So we can basically just trim it down to print dollar seven. So all of this is still good. So just trim everything down to print uh, everything uh, else out except for $7. We're still going to keep our greater than 20. And then all we need to do here is pipe this into WC-L, which is going to give us a count. So if I, at that point, let's just go ahead and do the same thing to the script. So I'm going to copy get slow pings.sh to slow ping count.sh. And here, just to keep the theme, we'll do get slow ping count. And then if we do our get slow ping count, we are going to keep everything else the same. We will go ahead and get rid of everything after the seven. And then we're just going to pipe that into a WC-L and schmod plus exit. To make it uh, executable. And now we can run get slow ping count on our ping.log. And that's going to tell us that there are 11 slow pings in ping.log. So we now have a set of scripts that allow us to consistently monitor ping. We can, we've got the raw information. So in my case, I wanted to be able to, you know, call up my ISP and say, hey, between this time and this time, I saw these ping latencies. Um, so we've got the information in raw format to do any further processing we have the ability to do a get slow pings. Um, oh, that's my copy. And against our ping log, and we get all of our slow pings and their timestamps. And then we have the ability to do our get slow ping count and see the total number um, in a given log file. So this helped me just kind of get a feel for whether there were problems, when there were problems, um, because what I was seeing was I was seeing, you know, video calls, um, stuttering and dropping, uh, no, no drop in internet speeds, 
just things kind of cutting out. Um, and I wanted to be able to get a little bit more data around what was actually happening. Uh, and a little bit of bash scripting got me there. So hopefully this was helpful to you. If it was, hit like, hit subscribe, hang out on the channel for uh, more coding um, code tutorials. And I will see you next time.